is on 101 part 10. I would like to show you how you can upload large files to SharePoint library using client-side object model. If you remember in part 8, we covered file upload using the file creation information, but it has some restrictions that we discussed today. On the other side, we will have a quick review on the syntax of save binary direct, which is the CSOM function built to upload large files. And finally, we will have a demo and I will show you how to use a save binary direct. Although file creation information is the Microsoft recommended approach to upload files and it works on almost all the platform, it has some limitations. Uh, the main limitation is the file size. If you have tried the script that I introduced in part 8 about uploading files to SharePoint using CSUM, uh, if you have tried it for files larger than 2 megabytes, you will see it doesn't work. It actually fails and it returns you an error. The other limitation is that you'll get timeout if your upload takes more than 30 minutes. But when you're using save binary direct, those restrictions are not there. Save binary direct takes four parameters. First, it's asking you for a client context. So it should know to which website it should connect and where it should upload the files. Then you need the server relative URL, which is going to be the file location in the destination folder. And finally, the file that you read from the local drive, you have to read it into a file stream and pass that stream to this script. And the last parameter is the flag to tell the function whether to overwrite the file in case the file exists. The trickiest part of this upload is the server relative URL. Please keep in mind when in the previous slide we refer to context, no matter what URL you give, the context always refers to the root site of the web application. So basically, if you have a file that you would like to upload it, for example, to this folder or even subfolder, you always need to put the server relative URL referring to the root web application all the way to the subfolder and the file name. It's time to write a code and see how it actually works. I'm in Visual Studio. I create a new project from scratch, add new project. It's going to be a Windows Forms application, and I call it CSOM 101 Part 10, and I click OK. Just right-click, set it as Startup Project, adding the reference, and SharePoint.Client.RunTime, and SharePoint.Client. Just click OK. References are added, go to the code, and I would say using Microsoft.SharePoint.Client and the typical issue that we always have, I just confirm that this is the Windows form, not the SharePoint form. I go back to the form, I add a button, which is going to fire the upload function when we push this button. So upload large file. Double click and let's start coding. The information that I have, I put them in this file. So these are the basic information. Here's the site URL that I have here. There is nothing in this library. And the local file path is temp backslash dg.jpg, which is here, C, temp, and dg is the file. And let's start coding. I start the simple way. So first things first, I need to read the file from the local drive to a file stream. So I go for system.io.filestream, I call it fs equals new, and it's going to be file path. The 
mode is going to be open and finally the access is going to be read. Okay. Then I need to create a client context. I call it ctx equals new client context and that's going to be site URL. I pretty much have all the material that I need to upload this file. So it's going to be microsoft.sharepoint.client.file.save-binary-direct. The first parameter is the context that I have. Second parameter is the server relative URL. If you go back to the library itself, you will see that the actual folder is shared documents. So I just copy it here. And the file name in destination is going to be dg.jpg. Add the stream and finally flag to overwrite the file. I'm pretty much done. Message box dot show file upload completed let's run it and see how it works upload large file it's going to show me file upload completed and if I go to that folder it's going to show me that the file is here this is the file Let's take it one step further so that we can see the tricky part. If I take it one step further, I have the same web application, but under that I have a couple of site collections. The site collection that I'm going for is CSOM 101. So if everything is okay, if I replace the URL that I have here with the new URL of that website, assuming that the library name is the same and the path to that library is exactly the same as shared documents logically this code should work let me run it and I click on upload large file again it tells me file upload completed but if I go back here and I refresh this page you will not see the file here the reason is that it still looks at the context and tries to find it here. So actually it has uploaded it to the previous location. To solve this problem, we need to add a little bit of more code into it to get the right relative URL for this file on the server. To do that, I start with using client context and I call it ctx1 equals new client context and I call it site URL then I get a reference to my web ctx1.web then I need to get a reference to the library that I have I take it from the web dot lists dot get item by title which is going to be the library name that I have here then I get a reference to the folder that I want to upload the file to this folder is going to be my library dot root folder at this stage I need to get the relative URL of this root folder which is very simple ctx one dot load folder I don't need the entire folder object all I need is just f f dot server relative URL and ctx one dot execute query so that I get all the information that I need directly from the server at this moment I can read the relative URL so if I create another variable and I call it string 
that's going to be server relative URL equals blank at this stage. Right after I run this execute query, I can say server relative URL equals folder dot server relative URL. Now I can start the upload. I already have the code here, so the local file path is fine. Client context, I create a new client context. And for a save binary direct, I pass the client context. The only thing that I change is the server relative URL. So I call it server relative URL plus something like this. Or if I want to make it a bit more stylish, I would say forward slash plus system dot io dot path get file name and I just add the file path. This function returns me the actual file name and everything should be okay even for this site collection. Let's try it now. Click on upload large file. Upload completed and if I click on here now and I refresh I should see the file here. Same file uploaded. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and share the video. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please click on subscribe and stay in touch.